What would happen if you found a pig and it looks like this? Or a guest that didn't cry, but instead had a sinister smile. We are transforming mobs into terrifying myths, starting with that thing. Now, Guido, to make this scary mob, we need to find an iron golem. I said the only creature that matches its size. Okay, cool. That should be pretty simple. I, uh, Steve? What is that? It's an iron golem farm. So the iron golems appear up here, they're dragged towards the center, and then they're killed by... Yes. Die, golems, die! Give me all that sweet, sweet iron. All right. Let's go see how much iron I got. Now's our chance, Steve. Come on, have you got a pig? Yeah, I got one right here. And we're going to use it to bust one of these iron golems out. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's a stone down there. Come on, be free, guys. I only need one of you, so there isn't a mad rush. Got one. Now what do we do? Well, Guido, that's where my mob modifier tool comes into play. Watch this. Yeah. Whoa, cool. That's right, Guido. With this tool, I can adjust any mob I want and turn them into something scary. For example, I'm going to be transforming this golem into that thing. We'll start with the legs. We need to kind of shorten them a little. Go off, Shark King. That's a lie. I'm actually going to make this guy taller. Oh, man. I wish you told me before I said that stupid phrase. Then I'm just going to separate the arms and drag them down a little. Then we'll add some new arms up above. And as you can see, the shape of that thing is really coming together. This is cool and everything, Steve. But what exactly is that thing? It said that that thing originated from a secret hidden Minecraft dimension. But every so often, that thing can bleed over into our reality. Now, there are multiple signs that that thing is in your reality, such as three block pillars of netherrack. But perhaps the creepiest of all, finding a book and quill saying, I will find you. Anyway, that thing is pretty much complete, so let's go ahead and bring it into our world to scare Chris. <laughs> it's not really doing anything. Hello? Anyone in there? Hmm, we have to program it somehow. I bet I'd be good at that. Wait, hold on a second, Guido. Shouldn't... Oh, my gosh. Now I have no idea what that thing is going to do. I mean, I said what his normal behavior is, but with Guido programming him, he could literally do anything. There, programming complete. Although he still isn't doing much. <gasps> Is that you? You better not be messing around trying to free my golems! They deserve to die! <gasps> That's Chris! Oh, come on, do something! It's no use, Steve! We're gonna hide! Come on, come on, do something, please! Huh. That's a strange-looking golem. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, what are you doing? No, no, please! Stop! Let, let me! Let me! Guido, I actually have a list of all my friends that I want to spook today. And we can go ahead and take Chris off. Chris just got all his limbs pulled off. Nah, he's going to be fine. <laughs> what the? <sighs> Next up, we've got Billy the Bully. Billy is the biggest bully in the multiverse. I was going to enjoy targeting him next. Okay, Guido, the Wandering Trader is coming this way. Here we go. What are we thinking here? Well, we're going to turn this Wandering Trader into Entity 303. He's already got a hood, so it shouldn't be that big of a transition. Now, we're going to start off by removing his forearms and putting them in a slightly different position. Oh, gosh, this is reminding me of Chris all over again. Yeah, but the good thing is that this guy's going to keep his arms. Next up, we'll remove the nose, take off the hood, and shift his head downwards into his body. Ew. Then we'll design ourselves a brand new outfit, and of course, add Entity 303's piercing red eyes. And Guido, while I do this, let me tell you a little bit more about Entity 303. He's an evil hacker, and the first moment you encounter him will be through an email sent to your address. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled because he is known to stalk adventurers relentlessly. Not only that, but he can teleport, fly, and go invisible, so you'll never even know he was there. And there we have it. Entity 303 has been brought to life. Whoa, he looks great. Now I just need to program him with his abilities. And he's alive. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Billy is going to be so scared. Wait. Uh, 
Guido, what? Where did he go? Oh, he's gone! Guido, your programming was useless! Maybe you ran away because your design was so bad! What? What are you talking about? My design was great! You know what? Next time, just let me program! Or else this entire mess is just gonna- Ow! Happen again! What the heck? Oh! Dude, this llama is spitting at me! Yeah, that's what you get, Steve! Oh, quit laughing! Is that Steve? No way I'm hanging around if that loser is here! Billy was trying to escape! I needed Entity 303 to show up now. All right, I had enough of this. Yeah, I hear you. Your mom's your Oh, oh, that's gotta hurt. There, that's better. Now where the heck is 303? I don't know, but we really need him. We might not ever get a chance to prank Billy like this again. And just when Billy thought he managed to get away, 303 appeared. <laughs> We can go ahead and tick Billy off the list. Hold on a second. We don't know that we got him. He could have just <gasps> teleported away. Okay, Billy's gotta be that way. What in the multiverse? How did I get here? Hello? Steve, was this you? That's exactly what you deserve, Billy. And here is why. My friends have been pranking me yeah. non-stop for the past few weeks with masks based on scary myths. But now, I am scaring them. Ah, ah, ah. Where do you think you're going, Billy? I still need to get my revenge. In this case, with the fake feed. That's right, we are turning this adorable pig into a monster that literally steals faces. What? That's gonna be terrifying! Yeah, but not for us. Now, the thing with a face thief is it's kind of a mix between a spider and a pig. So we've already got kind of the base template. We just need to make some adjustments. Specifically, it's the legs, which we're going to make longer and more spindly and spidery. Then we're going to remove the snout and add our own terrifying face. Then we just need to add the spidery elements to the bear. We're really trying to capture a similar design to the spider. And while I'm doing this, let me tell you a little more about the face thief. The face thief was first found in an abandoned village. Once you find and open its secret diary, the face thief will be released into your world. And if it catches you, it can steal your face and your voice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Billy is gonna hate this. Programming complete. Wait a second, Billy's getting away. Okay, Guido, I really hope you program this guy well. Only one way to find out. <laughs> yes, yes, feast, my pretty. <laughs> That is so creepy. Get over here. I want to try. Oh, look at the way he moves. Oh, that is so disgusting. Oh, if you think that's weird, Guido, it's about to get even weirder. I'll just do this. And now I'm wearing Billy's face. Let's test out if the voice works. <clears throat> I'm a big, dumb, stinky doo-doo face. <laughs> yes, Billy. Yes, you are. Because now I had Billy's voice and appearance, I could target his sister, Katie. <laughs> Ugh, Guido, can you believe this? Katie's literally got a Steve doll and she's having her wolf tear it apart. Kinda like we tore Billy's face off. Uh, yeah, and Chris's limbs. <laughs> Anyway, we need to figure out a way to get to Katie's dog so we can hit it with the mob modifier tool. Hmm. Wait, I've got an idea. I've still got Billy's face, which means I've also got his voice. So let's just go ahead and knock on the door. <coughs> hey, sis. I'll walk your dog today if you like. Uh, dog? He has a name, you know. Steve Killer 3000. And he's my Steve Killer 3000. So I'll come along for the walk, too. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to say that. This is going to make things way more difficult. So why exactly are you wearing Steve's clothes? Uh, well, I stole them from him. Okay, this is my chance. Come here, you. Uh, whoa! And how come you're kind of tall now? Uh, a growth spurt, I guess. 
All right, let's try this again. Nice doggy. And... Oh, jeez. Thief killer! Where are your manners? Huh? He really doesn't like you today, Billy. <laughs> okay, let's just take it easy here, boy. You're not gonna hurt me. Wait a second. Is that... Guido? And he's got a trash can? Oh, I think I know what he's planning here. Okay, I've got to keep Katie distracted. So, uh, what do you want to do today, sis? Shall we go prank Steve again? Or maybe we can... Don't turn around! What's your problem? Nothing! <laughs> hey, have you ever wondered why Steve is such a loser anyway? I really think that... <laughs> Nice job, Guido! And now she's distracted. Yeah! We can modify Steve Killer 3000 and turn him into a Cerberus. We're gonna start off by duplicating the heads. Oh, of course, because a Cerberus has three heads. Yeah, and this is pretty terrifying in itself, but we can make it even scarier. We're gonna turn those paws into razor sharp claws. Then we're gonna kind of invert the back legs and make them look a little bit more demonic. Oh, that's spooky! Next, we can begin adjusting the faces themselves. We're gonna give it a snarling mouth and evil red eyes. And while I give it a razor-sharp tail, let me tell you the story of the Cerberus. Have you ever wondered where the giant bones in the nether come from? Lurking in the deepest depths of the nether, the Cerberus will stalk its prey before striking when you least expect it. Behold, the might of the Cerberus! Oh man, stop doing anything! Ha! You really thought you could upgrade Steve Killer 3000? He's the perfect dog! Oh, I think you messed up, Katie! <laughs> caught the attention of Sergeant Shaw, leader of the police, who sent every police officer in the station my way. Whoa, 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 hold on, fellas. We can talk about this. You guys just don't understand. Uh, Stay right where you are, criminal. With the cops surrounding me, I figured oh, this on, was Sergeant the end. Shaw, I can't go to jail. Uh, whoa. It's Entity 303. He's here to save us. Uh, no. Ugh. What Billy, the? what are you doing here? Uh, hey, Austin. Uh, wait, Billy. Uh, oh, right. I see. Oh my gosh, Steve! You just missed Billy. Are you here to camp too? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm here to camp. <laughs> welcome to a campfire, and welcome. Oh my gosh, to Austin! Austin, stop! I can't. I just didn't have time for this. With Sergeant Sean on his way to arrest me, I had to convince Austin to help me out. Oh, Austin, Austin, stop! Shut up, shut up, shut up! I've got an important mission for you! An important mission? Do you mean to say that the fate of the multiverse is on the line and you need my help? Uh, sure. Then I, Austin the Noble Adventurer, offer my sword. Well... Now as good a time as any. Yeah! Now I wasn't modifying a mob, but my friend Austin. And I was going to turn them into one of the creepiest myths in the entire Minecraft dimension, Giant Alex. If you find a mysterious pit in the ground while wandering the plains of the Minecraft dimension, beware, because it may be the footprint of Giant Alex. On foggy nights, this creature will appear and simply watch you from afar. She will silently observe your every move, and if you do something to wrong her, she will strike. Here we go, and Giant Alex is complete. Nice job, Guido. Hopefully she'll be good enough to deal with Sergeant Shaw. Here he comes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sean and his men have got giant Ellie's trapped. It's me that you want, not her. Wait, look. <gasps> oh, she isn't happy. Giant meteors began raining from the sky. And soon enough, the cops were gone. Where's Sean Austin? I mean, giant Alex? With Shaw dealt with, I thought that my troubles were over. Until... What did you do? Uh, uh, what do you mean, Austin? 
You look great! Yay, you never look healthier! You turned me into a monster! No, 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 get away from me! Oh my gosh, she's right behind me, I can hear her! She rhymes me! There's gotta be somewhere we can hide! Come on, this way, into the house! Now that, oh, that was a close one! Uh-oh, with Austin or Alex heading me down in the house, I had to figure out a way to escape. I searched the house and found enough materials gotcha. for a nether portal. And here we are, Guido, the nether. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Well, let's just stay focused, buddy. I've got my mob modifier tool, and if we want to defeat Alex, we need something big. Like, how about that guest? <laughs> You make it sound so simple. Oh, come on, Guido. We've totally got this. Here it comes, Guido. It's coming this way. Okay, three, two, one. I really hope this works. Go! Yeah! Hey, hey, we made it. Now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to turn this normal guest into the black guest. Now, the main feature of the black gas is that it has a huge gaping mouth, which it can use to chomp unsuspecting victims. We're also going to go ahead and make this thing look a little bit more demonic. We'll add some giant horns and chains, almost like it's broke free from some demonic prison. This guy's already giving me the creeps. You've got to tell me more. Okay, if you say so. The scariest part of this myth is that you don't have to perform some kind of ritual in order to make the black guest appear. But once it does appear, your time will very quickly run out. <laughs> nice, Gasty. Oh, Guido, relax. He's on our side, and he's going to help us get revenge on Giant Alex. Just you wait. Right? What the? No, you're supposed to fight for me. What are you doing? Oh, Guido, this isn't good. That thing's gonna kill us. What are we gonna do? Oh, there's only one thing we can do. We need to lead it back to the nether portal. Oh, but it's so far away. Jeez. Okay, let's just not panic. Oh, you're so panicking. There it is. Come on, come on. Hey, Gesty, come and get me. Oh, jeez. Okay, now it's time for my revenge. I'm gonna squish you like a box, Steve. Actually, Austin, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> oh, wow, that was actually pretty brutal. Let me just go ahead and tick that one off. Oh, man, I'm short again. Next, we've got Speedy the Capybara. What? But everyone loves Speedy. Yup, but he doesn't love us. A few years ago, I showed up to the opening of his new restaurant, Speedy Burger, and got told this. Get out of my face, kid. What? But I dressed up and everything. You were my hero, Speedy. I was heartbroken. But not today, because Speedy is going to be the one getting embarrassed by me and this salmon. Wait, what? Uh, you'll see. All right, so we've got our basic salmon here, and we're going to be transforming it from this into the necrofish. Necrofish? I've never heard of that guy. Yeah, he's a little bit less known than the other myths, but he is just as terrifying. First off, we're going to take the head and we're going to stretch it all the way out. Ew. Then we'll stretch it upwards and make his body match as well. Oh, I see, because the necrofish looks a lot bulkier than your average salmon. Then we're going to work on the mouth of the fish, because the necrofish has a huge mouth with a set of razor-sharp teeth. So we'll go ahead and fill this in. This guy needs to see a dentist. And of course, it's beady red eyes. And while I'm doing this, let me tell you the story of the necrofish. It starts off with an adventurer finding a map leading to an ocean monument. But as they're heading to the Ocean Monument, they find something weird. Now, inside of the Ocean Monument, everything looks relatively normal, apart from some mysterious red blocks splattered everywhere. But before the adventurer could discover any more, the Necrofish arrived! And with that, the Necrofish is ready. Come here, you! Now what are we doing? Oh, you'll see, Guido. We're gonna take him over to this little trapdoor, if you wouldn't mind opening it up. Uh -oh. Okay. And let's go ahead and drop the necrofish inside because these sewers are directly connected to the Speedy Burger bathroom. By the time I'm finished here, you better have those burgers ready. Ha, 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 ha!
Rusty was speedily running away with the Necrofish biting into his Capybara caboose. But there was one more target left and it wasn't going to be easy. Arnetta, the toughest athlete in the Minecraft dimension. She wasn't scared of anyone or anything. I knew that to scare her, I'd have to combine the scariest mob with the scariest myth. Now, Goido, I know this is a terrible idea fighting the Ender Dragon with literally a pickaxe, a lead, and Billy's space, but we don't have a choice. Yep, yeah, this might be top 10, one of the most stupid things we've ever done. Oh, you just gotta have belief, dude! All right, come on, Ender Dragon. I need you to fly in low, and I'm gonna whack you with this mob modifier. Okay, looks like she's coming back round. Come on, fly on down. That's it! Okay, it's time! Go, 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 go! And yeah! Woo! That was crazy. Okay, we're gonna start off by removing the snout of the Ender Dragon. Ugh. Wow, she looks really weird. Yeah, but we do have a nice base here, which we're gonna transform into the face of Hero Brine. Hero Brine? No, no way, Steve. That's right, Guido, the most notorious myth of all time. And then once the head is completed, we're gonna add some little extras here. For example, a bunch of weapons plunged into the body of the Hero Brine Dragon to show that no matter how hard you fight, it is near impossible to kill. And then down here at the claws, we add the faces of our heroes, Steve and Alex. Fallen in battle. Hero Brian has been plaguing Minecraft adventurers for a millennia. Yeah, yeah, Steve. Everyone knows the story. Oh, yeah, I, I, I guess you're right. Oh, <laughs> Arnetta is gonna be terrified. With the hero dragon complete, I headed back to the city to confront Arnetta. Oh, Arnetta! <laughs> Your time has come, Arnetta. We've got the scariest mob ever. She's totally gonna be scared of this. I mean, who would it be? Look how terrifying this thing is. <laughs> but there was a problem. <laughs> oh, you think that's scary? It looks ridiculous! That face is so goofy! <laughs> hey, she throwing protein shakes at us! <sighs> I couldn't believe Arnetta wasn't scared! I had to re-strategize. I remembered there was another mob even scarier than the Ender Dragon. <sighs> Guido, summon the Wither. What? Okay, Steve, if you're sure. It's the only way to scare our Netra, I promise you. I'll get the mob modifier tool ready, and I've got to be quick. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't believe that actually worked. We're going to start off by keeping a similar shape to the Wither, with the three heads and everything, but we're going to transform its design to involve Null. Null? What's Null? Much like Herobrine, Null is a spirit who is said to roam and stalk you within the Minecraft dimension. Null is even known to send mysterious messages straight to adventurers, even if you are completely by yourself. Whoa. Wait, now what are you doing? Well, Guido, I'm transforming the body of the Wither here to make it look like three bodies combined. My thought process is having Null in the center with Steve and Hero Brian on either side, showing that no matter if you're a force of good or a force of evil, Null will take you down. Then we'll go ahead and tear up their clothes a little bit, make it look like they've been in a real fight, and our most horrifying design is complete. There we go, Brian complete. Uh, that's great, Guido, but where is Null? Oh my god. Gosh, what in the multiverse have we just created? With Null complete, all that was left to do was to sit back, relax, and watch as he vanquished Arnetta! <laughs> Not so brave now, are you, Arnetta? Uh, Steve, shouldn't we be worried that we just let him loose into the world? Nah, I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Seems like a nice dude. And with that, Guido, our revenge is complete. Everyone on this list must totally regret messing with me. I just can't wait to tell everyone how stupid they looked. Just a prank, guys. 